Hello Lava friends! In the last video we talked about Lava Breeze, our minimal starter kit. Today we take a look at its big brother, Jetstream. Similar to Breeze, Jetstream is a starter kit that helps you to get started with your next application and it already comes with um, login, registration, email verification and all of that within a beautiful design so you don't have to reinvent the reel every single time. But yeah, all of this is very similar to Breeze, but there are some key differences to Jetstream because it has a lot more to offer. But let's do this step by step together. And as always, we're going to start by creating a new application. Let's call this level Jetstream. And yes, we want to use a starter kit, not Breeze. We're going to use Jetstream. Here we go. Here you can already decide if you want to go and use it with Livewire or if you want to use it with view and inertia. Depending on what you pick here, all the files will be yeah, created with the stack that you choose. I'm going with LiveWire here. And then you can already see the features that Chatstream supports. We are going all in here. We want to use API support, dark mode, email verification and team support. And especially team support and API support is something that you won't get with Breeze. So these are only available with Chatstream. After the rest of the installation process, when you check out the application in the browser, this is what you will see, which is Laravel's welcome screen. And on the top right, you see already links here to login and to register, which comes through Chatstream. So let's create now a new user together. For me, I use my Laravel mail here and my super secret password. And voila, we are already logged in. We're here on the dashboard. Again, this all comes through Chatstream. It all looks also very similar to Breeze. That's also on purpose. And yeah, let's check out what we can do here. So we have a navigation here under my username. And first is the profile, which we can check out where I can update my information, like my name, email address, my password. We already have here two-factor authentication, which we can enable if we want to. This also only comes with level chat stream. We can log out through all our browser sessions on other browsers. And of course we can delete the account if we want to. Okay, this is all again, very much similar to Breeze, but now a few things that are different. Now we have API tokens. So this means we can create an API token user can use to interact with our API. And this is something that Breeze is not capable of doing. And this is supporting through level Sanctum, our own package. So let's create my new token and I can define here some permissions. We'll check out how we can define them in just a second. And here I have now my token, I can copy it and you will see it down here. And yeah, you won't see the token itself again, but we can delete it if we want or need to. In our application in the chat stream service provider, if we scroll down here, we can here configure permissions. And here is what we've already seen. So we have two roles here, one for an admin and one for an editor. And here we have some permission that we can also then add to our API tokens. And here at the top here, we can define what is selected by default. So I can also add here update, for example. And if I refresh, you can see update would be pre-selected here as well, but of course I can still uncheck them if I want to. So this looks a little bit different than if you haven't selected team support, because then you will only have your one call chat stream, colon, column permissions where the permissions are defined, but now here they are defined on roles. All right, let's get back. So since we already talked about teams, so by default, when you create a new user, it will already be assigned to a team. That's how this works. And since I haven't created my team myself, Lab has done this for me, Chatstream has done this for me, and this is called Christoph's Teams. And here I can manage this, here I can invite some new users. So let's invite myself maybe as an admin. Let's click here now an email was sent. And I'm checking this now here locally in Herd where I can see um, how this invitation looks like. So if I don't have an account yet, I can create one and then can, I can also accept the invitation. And then you would see myself also in the team here. So this is what you can do here. But until I do this, you will see myself as a pending invitation. So super cool already to have the team support here, which you, I believe there are many use cases where you can use teams in your application. And of course we can also create a new team. Let's do this together, my new team. Here we go, you can see I already switched here to this new team. I now see both of them here, so a user can belong to many teams. I can switch around. 
And yeah, it's pretty cool that this already works out of the box with Chatstream and I'm pretty sure there are lots of applications that can make use of this. So that's already what we can do here when we are logged in. Of course, now this all belongs to your code and we can adapt it to our needs. So if I go back to my application under resources, views, you will see now a bunch of views. So this comes if you're using the LiveWire stack. If you're using Inertia, of course, this will look a little bit different. But here, for example, is the dashboard, which we do see here. That's a dashboard. And here we have this welcome component. So if we get rid of that and refresh, of course, this is now gone too. And yeah, you can now create your LiveWire component or anything else here and just put it in here. My new application and we will see this now here on this screen. And of course, there's way more that you can edit. So there also the emails which are sent, you can change them. All the components are here. Yeah, um, everything that you need. And also what I mentioned is the chat screen come with classes. And here with Fortify and chat screen, you have the classes which are responsible for create a team, delete a team. And this is also where you could change this if you want to. So everything here has been done through, through those action classes, which I believe is pretty cool and pretty flexible for your use case. Something else which is also good to check out is the chat stream config file, because here we also have the features which are enabled and which are not. So we already enabled the Teams features with invitations being enabled, account deletion, API, but there are some more. You can also add profile photos to your account also interesting here, we can add terms and privacy. So what this does is if we go back here and if we log out and now try to register, you will see here that we have to agree to the terms of service and the privacy policy. And these are just some empty pages here created by Chatstream for us so that we can yeah, use them so that the user have to agree to them because this is a very common use case. Of course, there is much more that you can define here in the configuration. This is just a little preview, which I'm showing here. So please check out this as well. And also in the service provider, there is a little bit more going on what you can do and how you can configure your application. So please make sure to check those files out as well. And again, if you want to, you can customize here everything for your custom needs. That's Laravel Chatstream, our powerful starter kit for your next application, offering everything there is we provide. To sum this up again, Chatstream is the right tool for you when you need all the features like API and team support, when you enjoy working with actions to customize and enhance Chatstream in your code, when you don't need to worry about routes and controllers, and when you like working with LiveWire or Inertia in your application. Last reminder here, you shouldn't worry about upgrading Chatstream because after the installation in your app, it belongs to your code and you should customize it to your needs. So if a new version of Chatstream comes out, you should use this for your next application. That's it. As always, check out the official docs for more and have fun with Chatstream. Bye.